Welcome to the Masters More Awesome Milestone interview. We're here with Chris Maston. Maston, not sure which one it is, 150th game interview. Pat McGinnity, Will Schofield. How are you, Chris? Good boys. Are you excited to be interviewed by us? Pumped, yeah. They're brought in the big guns, mate. Um, is it true that on your wedding day, your wife, Emmy, she couldn't wear heels but for the photos? <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> that's, that's all. You, were you a part of the groom's party, right? Yeah. I remember you putting some like some flats in your bloody in your shoes no, to make your couple inches higher. <laughs> no, heel raises. No, I don't have any of that. You didn't wear. You didn't wear I'm, heels. I'm a slightly above average human. She's a slightly above average woman. What so. size shoes do you have? Ten. What size That's shoes true. does she have? I don't know. Women's. Do you ever wear? Seven. Do you? Would you say that you ever? No, wear... no, because they don't wouldn't fit because I've got a size ten U.S. men and I'm a slightly above average man. Would you say that you ever wear <laughs> some of her clothes? No. You've never worn any of her clothes? No, no. Okay. So talk us through this, mate. You're um you're a slightly build man. You're a, you're, no, you're a little fella. Average. You're very you're quite small. So um but you, when you with your clothes you buy the, the biggest sizes. Is that do you see something differently when you look in the mirror or <laughs> or is that just the fashion? Oh, they, I think they fit me well, mate. How would you pronounce <laughs> your dress sense? Would you could you oh, describe no. it? How do you dress? Like, um Sick, one word. Sick. Yeah, sure you one word. Sick. Sick. Yeah. Like, sick. Like, sick. Like fully sick or like yeah, unwell yeah, sick? Like, yeah, like hospital like patient sick. sick. Yeah. Right. So I can see. Oh, mate, um, so I was going through a couple of stats and. Um, as you do. As, yeah, um, that's what you're I'm doing going through the day stats, off. Yeah, you're going through the stats. Right. Um, and over your 150 games, um, you're, caught, you're up there with your possessions over the whole AFL. You, you've been in the, you know, the top sort of 10. Congratulations. Um, well done with that. But uh, this year, um, do you happen to know what statistic you're leading up to the, up to date? It's not holding the balls, is it? Yeah. Against? You've got caught holding the ball more than anyone in the whole league up to this round. So put it there, thanks, mate. Man. That's a bloody Cheers. result. Really well done, Chris. Uh, uh, thanks, boys. Uh, mate, you're a well uh, inked lad. Um, you got some tattoos on you. First tattoo. What's your first tattoo? Yeah, I might become the spokesman for not getting tattoos in the future. But um, yeah, first one's mum and dad in the old. Chinese writing down there that's getting, get getting, right? that's getting, well, I don't know, you know it's, it's coming <laughs> off anyway. Oh, I, want to, I want to revisit my stats that I've gone through on my day off. <laughs> so, I've gone through the last sort of 20 years, um, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> round about that, and um, when you play your 150th game, you'll go down as the lightest player to ever play 150 <laughs> games. It's not true. Put it there, mate. <laughs> Put it there. It's not true. Did you create a response? Yeah, well, it's just, it's just untrue. I went through the stats, no, Jeff. Yeah, history books. The history books will go down. Well, will 80, 80 kegs is the lightest player ever to play 150. I don't think so. The scales must be broken in your house, mate, because you're not 80 kilos. <laughs> Biggest influence on your footy career, whether it be uh, pre AFL or AFL? Probably mum and dad. You have to say mum and dad. Um, I wouldn't have been anywhere without them. They'd Amount of driving they do for athletics training, footy training, get me wherever I, wherever I could, and always back me in, and you know never pressure me to do anything. It was always what I wanted to do. So, yeah. Back to me stats, mate. Um, so this one shocked me, but from the beginning of last season, so one and a half seasons, I'm going off. My stats tell me that you've kicked one goal, one goal, twenty-four. Two goals, twenty-four. Two goals, no. twenty-four. Yeah, I kicked two goals in a row, in, in a row remember? One, Dommy Shee's one, and then the week after I kicked one. Oh, you did too, yeah. yeah. So, so you've kicked so two goals, 20 goals. I know, I wrote, wrote it down, so I wrote it down automatically. wrong. I wrote it down wrong, that's it. it was actually an error here. Incredible stats. So two goals, 24, mate. Dude, what's what's going on there? You uh, you practice your goal kicking, or? Yeah. Or are you just a mental midget in front of the stick, <laughs> big sticks? <laughs> I'm just having tough shots, mate. They're just well, send under them up, pressure. Chan. Send them up. <laughs> Put it up to bloody Nick. Your stats or aren't your stats aren't real anyway. The, you didn't even know I kicked two. Don't be verified. Don't you question. You can round stats. that up to what? It's really like mate, four goals. Don't, four qu goals don't question. Four goals don't question stats, mate. <laughs> uh, Christopher, thank you very much for letting Patrick and myself interview. You've been an absolute pleasure. 150 games, mate. Well mate, done. Congratulations. Somehow you got awesome, there. Mate. Well done. Thanks, Thanks boys.